Okay, no. Yeah. Road trip, we gotta stop at Bucky's. Let the dog use the bathroom and get a drink. You know we gotta stop at Bucky's. Everybody stops at Bucky's. So I just made it out of a real thick tube that goes all the way to the other side. So I can actually put a hitch. I've got pinholes here and here. I can actually put a, a ball, a hitch for uh, like pulling a trailer with this thing. Cut holes with a torch everywhere for tie downs. Everywhere, all the way around it. And then I welded a piece of pipe to it for the rod holders. And this is PVC that the pipe is only about six inches long. And then the PVC extends all the way up. So we've got rod holders with grooves to hold the reel. And then we can just carry whatever we need to to the beach. is home for a week. Staying here for a week down here at Galveston. And Gracie's acting royal. <laughs> Good morning guys. Let's get some bait real quick. It's not bad. All right, guys, I caught some menhaden and some shrimp with those two throws. Now I'm gonna run down here to the beach. See if there's anything in the surf. Everybody else is sleeping in. Oh, my wife's reading a book. The kids are sleeping in.
Lady fish. Nice. That's good bait right there. Good bait. Hey, still. Lady fish. Heck yeah. Lady fish for bait. What do you think? Another lady fish looks like. Heck yeah. Got some good bait going on. Come here, come here, big boy. More bait. More good bait. That's good shark bait right there. Another. Another lady fish. All right. Another lady fish. Hold up. What'd you get, Gracie? I don't know what it is. You tell me. Hold it up. It's green. Nice. And let me show you how I tie my double droppers. Make a loop. Make sure you're, you know, a couple of feet away from the other, the first one. Make a loop. And hold it in. Hold the ends. And you start twisting this. So you stick your finger in there. One, two, three. five see how I've got an area here and on the other side I'll pull this loop through that okay you seeing that and I sent you down you got to get it wet to keep it straight this pressure this way and this way. So what I do is I use my mouth. Do it wet. I use my mouth. You can see that. There you go. How's that? That way you don't get tangles in your line. And you can make a double drop double dropper out of monofilament instead of buying that wire. The only time you need wire is if bluefish are taking the bait or if there's sharks in the water and they keep cutting your line. All right, let me show you guys how I rig my bottle rigs. I've got 40 pound leader here. I just made two loops, two drop loops. What I do, since I already have the loop on here, I put the loop through. I go back through once, and I pull it to the side, twist it, and do it again. And that holds that weight on better. Look at that knot. For that bottom loop, same thing for my hooks. Through once. Once, twice, and 
that hook's not going anywhere. Let's get a close up of the next one. and do it again. That's all you need to do. Fight it! Let it bring it, bring it in. You got two. It's a shark. It's a Catfish and a shark. <laughs> nice. Nice. Another catfish. I'm getting tired of catfish. Another catfish. Another daggum hardhead. Hey, Dad, got it. Keep the rod up. Keep the rod up. What do you got, ladyfish? Yes, sir. Just hold the hook. Oh, no, that's not a ladyfish. Nice, dude. So I've learned if you use the wire, the double drop wire, high low rigs that you buy at Walmart or Academy or the fishing store, that's great if you, you got bluefish, shark, or something like that in the water that keeps cutting your line. But you don't catch a lot of good fish, trout, reds, you know, any any big fish in the surf any any nearly all fish in the surf you're gonna catch with the wire you're gonna catch shark and catfish if you want to catch a bunch of catfish just throw a bunch of a bunch of wire but if not build you some double drops out of monofilament and just make it bigger than your main line 50 pound 80 pound dropper whatever but fish will bite this monofilament way quicker than they'll bite the wire. That's just a useful tip I learned over the years.